All right, we are back. What's up, everyone? Fitted Fun here, and today I'm gonna be playing Mafia 3. So yeah, I'm back with this game. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little recap of the last video. Uh, in the last video, we went and uh, killed, uh, took out uh, Tommy Marcano, and we got back the plate, uh, the money plate, so they can fabric uh, more uh, money. And that's good. So uh, yeah. Uh, Marcano can do uh, print his own money for his casino, and now he's uh, he is uh, in some trouble, and he decided to call an old friend of Vito, Leo Galante. So if you didn't play the second game, it's a uh, one of the best friend of uh, Vito. Uh, throughout the game, he helps him out a lot. Not a best friend. His best friend is uh, Joe, but uh, he's uh, one of the guy that help him out a lot in this game. So yeah. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see what's uh, what's gonna happen next. But instead, in this video of continuing the story missions, I decided to go play uh, some uh, couple of m optional mission. I'll start by doing this one because uh, this is the most recent one that we got. So this one might be really far in our memory and everything. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go back to see Father James in this video and thank him for uh, helping us with Alvarez sorry about that so yeah and uh, yeah there's no particular reason uh, why I decided to uh, do the side mission it's just because they're starting to be a lot of them of them hey Vito you know what fuck you I'm stealing your car <laughs> all right so yeah that's pretty much all I had to say so we're gonna go do uh, this side mission and we'll see how long it takes. We might do a couple of them if they are not really that long. And yeah, let's uh, jump back into the game and let's go to this mission. There's something that I would like them to do in this game. It's that when you you stole so, uh, some of the main characters in the game, of the main storyline characters, cars or something of theirs. Yeah, they should reply to you about it, like Vito, uh, since I took his car, you should say something about it. That would be so uh, funny and so nice. And yeah, that's the thing that I would like uh, would do. Like in GTA, they, uh, they do uh, in the storyline. If you uh, stole or uh, hit them or do something bad to them, they, uh, or to their house or their properties in general, they will... Uh, talk to you and say uh, text you or call you and uh, tell you that hey uh, what the fuck man what are you doing so yeah that would be a really nice instead of just being like uh, with the district that they uh, say something in the sit down all right <coughs> all right so we're here uh, is my car still here? Nope. Alright. Let's go talk to James. Hey. I got up? Alvarez out of the city. Good. You Good. told me you saved his life. All I did was get him away from Marcano's men. And thank God for that. Let me mm -hmm. ask you something. You ever hear how Sal Marcano wound up running this city? Him and his brothers killed a few guys and took over. He sold out his own father, Lincoln. Watched him die, and then he killed every man standing in his way, butchered them, them and anyone else he thought was a risk, warranted or not. How do you know that? Other oh, priests. The sanctity of the confessional isn't always absolute. I'm not an idiot, Lincoln. You're a criminal. Sammy was a criminal. I accepted mm. that a long time ago. But there's a difference between being a criminal and being a Sal Marcano. I'm yep, not Sal Marcano. Easy to say that now, but what about when this is over? When there's no one standing in your way? I haven't decided yet. You're a good man, Lincoln. I know it's odd to hear that, considering everything you've done. But it's true. You have it in you. I've seen it. But you're gonna have to decide, have to choose whether you let all of this consume you, pervert you, 
turn you into the very thing you hate. Hmm. That's a good speech. I think uh, he needed that. I needed that too. I'm gonna take your uh, first aid, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. And I'm gonna take that too. Oh, um, you have something else to say? Trick Satan never pulled was making tobacco taste so damn good. <laughs> All right, see you later, Father James. What the heck was? Who the hell crashed? Nobody. Okay. It was just a ridiculous sound for no reason. Okay, so let's head to, uh, to Donovan's and uh, talk to him also. Like I've said, this might uh, be uh, from a mission a while ago. So I don't know why he will say. He might talk about people that are already dead, so yeah. Just a little head up to this. Since I know now that they're not missions, then like a mission when there's exclamation point or something like that I, I know that there's and this is not a mission well we'll see if there's action that we can do in this uh, optional mission that they talk about but uh, if there's a, if this is just talking uh, will be I don't want to how do I want to say that I don't remember yeah never mind Let's head right there and talk to Donovan. Okay, so I'm here. And uh, let's head right upstairs then. Let's go see Donovan. Let's see what he has to say to us. Who are we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've what? seen you shoot. I think I'll be aye. Hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> so, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down, I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with a 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. <laughs> that was different. It was during a war. And yep. this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore <coughs> about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't mm, tell me you're not at least a little curious. Yeah, like I'm a little curious what you're doing in here. Yeah. Okay, I'm out, Donovan. See you later, buddy. Uh, okay. You know what? It's uh, We've been going for 11 minutes. We can go do a mission for Cassandra, side mission for Cassandra, because uh, I've been uh, a little bit addicted to her, so I'll, uh, I'll try to be nice now, try to help her out. Like I said, next district is to her. I'll give it all to her. Last time I, I didn't the choice, I didn't have the choice to give it to uh, Vito, I was not, uh, I was not gonna call him for uh, his man all of his men and tell him to get the fuck out of this territory what kind of guy I could I would be if I did that all right what's up Cassandra Early used to put these under our beds thought they keep us safe Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, the invisibles, the loa. But sometimes, that is not enough. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? <laughs> not with a forty-five in my hand. 
The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, all they're looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution, fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell you what they see. A crazy nigga. A nigga part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens <laughs> when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood, the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it they get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. And don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know, at some point you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. We ain't there yet. Yep. All right. Let's go take out this ship. Steal the weapon shipment. Have a little bit of action in this video. And... Uh, if it doesn't take me uh, that long, I'll maybe do a couple of other side missions. So yeah. I'll see you when I arrive to the, the objective. Alright, I'm here. Let's go get some action done. Hey, don't honk at me. This is really tight. How the heck is he going to get out of that? Think I give a fuck, bitch? I'm the surprise. Uh, hey, you mind keeping that for me? Goodbye. What, you didn't burn? Well, I have a couple of bullets in your head. Goodbye. This is the Dixie Mafia, if I remember right. Oh, another collectible. Open that. Come on, come on, be quick. Where's he at? I know there's somebody here. Kill you. Goodbye. Ouch! That hurt real bad. Uh, okay, take some ammo. You wanna shut me, bitch? Why don't you show this? Eh? What you laughing about? <laughs> Don't find that uh, funny, eh? Yeah, you're right. Let's say it's time to take out the trash. I did it. Okay, medicine cabinet isn't there, so I need that. Hope this is not locked. What's that? Oh! Can someone tell me why there's a medicine cabinet outside? How the heck is that useful? I don't know. Alright, how the heck do I get out of here? Yeah, over here. So I could have entered from there. Alright, let's bring that to Cassandra. I hope there's no uh, enemy coming my way. That would be bad.
What the heck? Just realized that I passed the objective. Oh, I didn't need to bring that back. What the heck did I... Uh, what is happening right Fucking now? We okay, break your neck. What? Why is there another car right there? Another truck right there? What just happened? Well, I'm just gonna take that and get out of here. I don't know why the, another car, another truck spawned. That was just weird. Alright, I'll see you when I'm there. Most bust my car, busting my car. Okay, let's leave that here. Here, Cassandra. Enjoy. Let's go for the ammo. God damn that guy drives fast. Anything you want here? Let me see what you got. Refill all the ammo. Uh let's buy some health. Oh yes, let's buy a tactical vest also. Why the heck not? Uh explosive Let's buy that, that... Oh, what? I have some C4 now? What? I didn't know I had C4. That's nice to know. Alright, let's go talk to Cassandra. Upstairs. Sorry I destroyed everything in your shop. I didn't mean to do that. In fact, I don't even know how I, how I did it. Hey. How are you, brother? Cause the holler gets stronger with every gun you bring. Don't doubt that. All right. You called me to hold that racket down, me. Then you took it away. But I'm gonna rise above it, chalk it up as a loss, and move on. Good. Sorry that I did that. Okay. Well, I don't know who score is this, but it's mine now. Oh Jesus! I get, get, no, 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 ma'am, no. Sorry for pushing you. I'm gonna take you and put you somewhere sa safe. I'm not. How do I drop the body gently? Okay, that was not gently. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna take the car anyway. All right. Uh, uh, this is all optional mission. Hmm. Do I want to do another one? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this one. It's gonna be the last one I'll I'll do for this video. And I'll do the three other in the next video. So yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, I don't know if you want to see some uh, side mission. I want to do them because there might be some uh, important piece of uh, pieces of the story in them. So yeah, I'm gonna do that before getting back on the story missions. All right, I'll see you when I'm there. All right, I'm here. I hope there's no alligator in this water because I might get fucked right there. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Oh, I really don't like that. Huh. Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Is it just me or are you looking a little bit like Sammy? Assume at your own whisk, Lincoln Clay. 
So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Sandra failed to mention your charming personality. <laughs> I, I doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana halfway. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would mm. I. Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. <laughs> it was not my child to come here. Leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. Yeah, I'll scare, scare the shit out of them. I'm good to do that. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use God it damn to it. bring everything back. My game froze again. Okay. All right, uh, is there anything else that I need to do? Okay, no. So I know this was a little slow, uh, slower video. I'll do this mission in the next video. And after that, I'll finish with a uh, Burke. Finish the side missions that we have to do. And that's about all that I had to say. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this video, and subscribe if you want more content like this one. And yeah, that's about all. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye for now, and yeah, goodbye everyone. See you later.